everybody, this is Vlad from Homemade Mechanic and today I'm going to show you how to properly change a tire even if you are a girl. First up, these are the tools that you are going to use. You'll find yours in your toolbox in your trunk. You'll need a jack and a tire wrench. And the towel. Newer cars also have in the toolbox a lug nut secure adapter for your specific car that you are going to use. First up we need to loosen up the lug nuts as the car is sitting onto the ground itself and the pattern that we are going to use is this one. This is called a star pattern and this is a circular pattern. So never use a circular pattern when you want to take a wheel off a car. After you loosen up the lug nuts into the star pattern, you are going to jack the car up into the air and you are going to put the wheel that you want onto the car itself, you are going to put it under it because if something happens, the car is going to drop onto the wheel and not onto the ground itself. This is a very important safe measure that you need to take. As I am changing the rear wheel, in this area I find the jacking indicator for this specific model. In this case, the Skoda Octavia Mark 1. You'll find a similar one in the front as well. And this is how you are going to put the jack. Here is the exact point. Now that we understood everything, let's get to work. First up, as the tire is sitting onto the ground itself, as you can see I do not have any jack in place, we need to loosen up the lug nuts and the easiest way that I found is to actually use your body weight in order to make this process easier. So let's put the tire wrench in place and as you can see I'm sitting onto it with my whole body. Using the star pattern right now we are going to loosen them up but be very careful not to take them off completely because there is a lot of pressure on this wheel at this point. So it is very important to let them on. After you manage to do that, make sure that every single one of them is moving up freely. And if you see this is not the case yet, just use your tire wrench again. Now let's jack the car up in the air. Just adjust it slightly to find that specific point so the bottom of the jack stays completely onto the ground. Take your time, this is a very important part. You might not get it right from the first try. I advise you not to do this on your driveway if it's not a completely flat surface. Now that the car is in the air, we can put the other wheel under it. Let's unscrew the lug nuts. Move the wheel around to make it easier for you. Take the wheel off and now let's change them to put this one under the car. After doing this, put the new wheel in place and the easiest way to secure it is to screw the lug nut that is on top first and then the one from the bottom. Again, move the wheel around to secure it properly. Now that all of them are in place, make sure to screw them as hard as you can, use a tire wrench as well and of course every procedure should be in the star pattern. Now let's take the wheel that was under the car out and let's jack the car down to put it on four wheels again. Let's screw one more time with the hand the lug nuts and after this we are going to use our body weight again but this time to screw them in to make them tight and secure. We should screw them in as the tire wrench would not move with me on top of it. This is very important. And as you can see, it's not moving. That was basically it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Bye bye.